Facebook reportedly wants your banking information. According to the Wall Street Journal, the company wants banks to share their customers' data so that Facebook can offer customer service options that help users. Now, this would reportedly be done through Facebook Messenger. Facebook reportedly wants your banking information. According to the Wall Street Journal, the company wants banks to share their customers' data so that Facebook can offer customer service options that help users. Now, this would reportedly be done through Facebook Messenger. And for more on this, let's bring it in Scherer. He is the executive editor of CNET News, and he joins us now from San Francisco. Well, good to see you. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good, thank you. Uh, we'll get to the privacy concerns about this in just a moment, but first, uh, what type of services would Facebook offer by partnering with banks? This is very basic stuff. This is like checking your account balance, being able to contact representatives. Imagine what you're able to do right now through a chat window on your bank's website. You'd be able to basically do that through Facebook. Uh, you may remember that its Messenger app, right, which is separate from Facebook on your phone, is pretty popular. It's got over a billion users, I think, and it's it's uh, become kind of a thing that Facebook is trying to turn into an app store of its own, almost kind of a, a one-stop shop for all sorts of stuff you want to be able to do, not just contact your friends. So so that's what they're thinking is trying to kind of pull in banking information and make it so that you can do very basic banking stuff on your phone through your messenger app. And, and this comes as Facebook faces very public criticism over data misuse and privacy concerns. Uh, so why would the company think that people would trust them with their financial information? Yeah, I mean, the, look, this has definitely not been an easy year for Facebook, and uh, especially when it became clear that they had lost control of some of their data through the Cambridge Analytica privacy scandal, it's just been really bad. But we've written on CNET many times, Facebook is trying to become this kind of one-stop shop of the internet, right? They're trying to do all sorts of stuff. For a while, they were selling movies, they are trying to connect you with all your friends, obviously, they are the largest photo site on the web, and so it would make sense that they would try to become kind of a banking site, too. Now, it's clear that this is just very basic stuff. If you read the Wall Street Journal story that broke this news, it's it's not trying to go too much further than that. But we've seen a lot of different uh, companies try and do stuff like even send money to your friends and stuff like that. So it could get a little more advanced. It's an interesting idea. All right. Facebook says it wants this partnership to increase engagement. What exactly do they mean by that? So if you are no longer having to go to your bank to check your account balance and you can rely on Facebook, that means you're, you're opening their app more, right? And every time you open that, your, their app, for whatever reason, that's an opportunity for them to suck you down the rabbit hole and take a lot of your time. And th that's kind of what it comes down to. You know, there's this push and pull of trying to make the platform seem useful and make you want to use Facebook, and then also giving you uh, kind of the space that you don't feel like you're using it too much. And they're always dealing with that issue. And so making it so that it's more usable and actually not just looking at a bunch of baby photos or what people had for lunch makes you feel better about using Facebook and then they win. All right. So if the banks go along with this, what's in it for them? The banks need to stay relevant. That's bottom line, right? Always they need to make sure that they're on top of things. That's why they have apps. That's why they worked with Mint.com. You remember a long time ago, it was uh, really popular to have all these websites that would help you track your spending across your credit cards and your banks and all that. They all do this because on, on some level they have to. But also, if they're able to stay relevant inside the Facebook age, that means there's less likelihood for you to leave them and go with a more modern you know, online-only bank or even switch to one that has better average advertising that they pushed at you through Facebook. So that's part of what comes down to. So is Facebook alone in trying to partner with financial companies or are other tech and social media companies uh, doing the same thing? There are rumors that Google and Amazon also would like to do stuff like this, and it makes sense, right? If I'm, you know, in the middle of getting my grocery list together at home and I want to figure out do I have enough money in my bank account to actually go grocery shopping, I could just ask my Alexa or Google or even my Apple, you know, Siri, hey, uh, how much money do I have in my bank account? That's, that's a logical decision. Uh, it's interesting to see whether or not this goes further than that, but that, that's kind of what everyone's thinking about, it seems, at least for now. All right, and thank you very much for your expertise. My pleasure.